I started out as a teenager wanting to be a dermatologist, you know, bad acne, you know how that goes. <laughs> I was impressed with my dermatologist and, uh, and uh, so went in with the uh, goal of being a dermatologist. That was back in the, well I won't say how long ago it was, a long time ago when no one even heard of dermatology. Uh, but that's what I wanted to do. I ended up um, also wanting to sort of be a real doctor, so I did internal medicine first. But I found that um, I liked pathology, which I never even heard about. And then I had this uh, wonderful mentor who was teaching uh, medical school dermatology and uh, decided to do a patholo extensive pathology uh, rotation for, you know, acted like an intern for a while. And then we were able to pick a, uh, a research project. So I called this, you know, energetic woman up. Uh, you know, I can picture myself in a little cubby hole talking to her, uh, you know, asking her if she I could do a research project with her. And she, to this day, remains my mentor, even as of today. Um, her name is Antoinette Hood, or Tony Hood, who has also been a big frontier woman in, in uh, dermatology, dermatopathology. So I decided I wanted to uh, be like her. I was excited to find that wanting to be a dermatologist and still wanting to be a patholo liking pathology, I could merge it into this great field called dermatopathology. So that's sort of how it started. And then, so since then, uh, I sort of made the decision in, you know, year X, and 10 years later, I got my first job after all the training that I sort of did along the way, and, uh, and just got very excited about doing academic dermatopathology, mainly sort of, uh, sort of the teaching uh, role, you know, not so much of the research, but the, the sort of teaching aspect of dermatopathology is what I like to do.